Hello, and welcome to another meeting of the Lotus Council. So what we have for you today is a deck tech. So before I get into the deck tech, just a little bit about how I developed this. I played this for the store championship at my LGS uh, earlier this month. Um, so a little bit about where I got the idea is I actually saw a Power Dragon video for a Hasty Gruel deck. And I liked one of the combos so much that I went ahead and built my own. Now that deck was built for best of one, and you'll be able to tell from this deck tech that there's quite a bit different than that, but I'm going to go ahead and link to his video down below because he really did point out a really, really good combination that is just very powerful, and I think people should run it pretty much whenever they're doing gruel. So I'll go through that here in a second. Um, if you don't really watch his channel, you really should because he does a lot of really great deck techs and it's a really good starting place to look for some things. Uh, some stuff is on the meta, other stuff is very much not part of the meta. So let's talk about the spells first. So I have four copies of Frostbite and four copies of Snake Skin Bell. So the intention with Frostbite is this was going to be two or three damage and of course Snake Skin Bell, you're putting a counter and giving a creature hexproof until end of turn. So pretty much any deck with green is running Snakeskin Veil at this point. Now the mana base, pretty straightforward. Four copies Rockfall Veil, vale. six copies Snow-Covered Mountain, six copies of Snow-Covered Forest, two Den of the Bugbear, two Lair of the Hydra, and then I also had four copies of Crack Crown slash Timber Crown Pathway. So pretty straightforward mana base. Creatures and other cards. So I did have one Ranger class in the main board. And then three Alana and Elena partners. Two Cemetery Prowler. Four Ascendant Pack Leader. Uh, four Werewolf Pack Leader. Then other cards. Volatile Arsonist. Uvenwald Oddity. Reckless Storm Seeker. And four copies of Hal Pack Piper. So let me go through and talk about why I included the things I did. So a lot of green lists are running Ranger class. It's really good. So you put a wolf into play. It's going to synergize with my other wolves. When a creature is attacked, it's going to get a plus one, plus one counter. And then playing off the top of the library. Seems pretty cool. Actually didn't play it. Really weird. Cemetery Prowler, on the other hand, it's 3-4 with Vigilance for 3. Already really good. So whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, exile a card from a graveyard. Then spells you cast cost one less for each card type they share with those exiled cards. A lot of really good ramp is missing from current standard, so this is just as good as that. So a lot of my stuff is, you know, four or less. Um, there is one card that's five, but we'll talk about that here in a second. This is going to reduce the cost on all of those, and that exiling is just so good for dealing with spirit decks. Werewolf pack leader, if you're not familiar with this one, it's got pack tactics where if this is attacking and there's six uh, power or greater, you get a draw card. So three, three for two. Already good on that alone. And then you can bump it. I never bumped it because I had plenty of other big things. So just pack leader and cemetery prowler attacking would be enough to trigger it. Send in pack leader. It's one drop for, it's a 2-1, one, one drop. Pretty good already. It enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it. And that's if I have a permanent with mana value four or greater. And then whenever I cast a spell with mana value four or greater, I put a plus one, plus one counter. So really filling in a nice spot. So I have one, two, three, four drops. And then five drops. Then Halana and Elena partners. So first strike, reach. Two, three. Pretty good for four. At the beginning of combat on your turn, put X plus one plus one counters on another target creature you control, or X is Halana and Elena's power. That creature gains haste until end of turn. So the idea with this is this is hasty gruel with werewolves. So Uvenwald Oddity, three copies of that. Trample haste, you can pump to transform it into a really big thing that buffs your creatures and gives them trample and haste. A good end of deck. Now... Um, Hal Pack Piper. This was a really great card. It costs four and it's just a 2-2. Two, two. 
but it can't be countered. But you pay uh, colorless and green tap, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. If it's a wolf or a werewolf, you untap Halpack Piper. This is only something you can do as a sorcery. So basically, the idea is I'm pumping out my larger werewolves like Volatile Arsonist for two. This is untapping. And so, you know, turn four, when I'm working with this, I'm able to put a couple of these guys out for the same mana value as casting this originally. Extremely great card uh, when it flips over. So whenever this creature enters the battlefield or transforms into Wild Sighing Howler, look at the top six cards. You may reveal a creature card and put it into your hand and then put the rest on your library in any order. Or in a random order, sorry. This card is being slept on. It should not be the price it is. Um, the synergies with the wolves is really great. So Volatile Arsonist was really my big bomb that I'm trying to use. But I'll talk in a second why it wasn't actually necessarily this. So this is a 4-4 four, four for 5 with Menace and Haste. And whenever it attacks, it deals 1 damage to up to each of one target creature, player, Planeswalker. When it flips, it's a 5-5 five, five with Menace and Haste. And then it deals 2 damage to those same things. Really good card. Now, with Reckless Stormseeker and Halana and Elena. This was the synergy that was pointed out by Power Dragon and really got me thinking about werewolves for this. So, at the beginning of combat on your turn, target creature you control gets plus one, plus zero, and haste until end of turn. So what I was doing is I was triggering this one first, giving Halana and Elena plus one, plus zero, so I was putting three plus one, plus one counters on something. <laughs> and giving it haste. So just really, really, really broken. And I had a lot of things get really big, really quick. And it was really good. So sideboard real quick. More copies of Ranger class, a natural growth, a Seekus chariot, which a lot of people run another copy of Halana and Elena, Cemetery Prowler, four copies of a braid, then another Uvenwald oddity and volatile arsonist. Honestly, when I was playing this, there were a couple of things that I noticed. I never played Ranger class. Even though it's a two drop, it just, it never was a thing. And then the other thing that was really, really apparent, even though you can make these into creatures, I never, they slowed me down, to be honest. They were not that great because these come in tapped if you have more than two lands. Compare that to the Veil, which is coming in tapped unless you control two or more. So essentially, turn one, you could put it tapped and it's fine. Basically, just turn two, it's not great. Turn three and beyond, it's, it's great because it's tapping for either color. So um, I played in the turn of it. I actually came in third. So got Arbor Elf. And then a stamped collected company with the name of the store for getting top eight. I ended up losing to a human mono white aggro deck. I beat one of these earlier. This one was just a little bit too fast. These lands slowed me down. And honestly, Ranger class was not helping at all. So basically what I found I needed is more removal. Person bit me and ended up going on to win. So in looking at this and going to up, upgrade it, so immediately the first thing, these lands out, more snow covered, forests and mountains in. Hopefully that's gonna make it so my frost bites activate and I'm getting three damage instead of the one. Plus they're coming in untapped if it's a late game. So although these are great, especially this one making goblins this, it's just too slow if you're trying to do a fast-paced, hasty deck, which, you know, was the point of this deck. So my sideboard, I also adjusted. Ranger class out, a natural growth out, and a Seekius chariots out. So I took one of the volatile arsonists, and I put that back in, because if I'm getting the Halpack Piper, I'm dropping that for two. Just, there's no question about it. 
That's really good. So what am I replacing with these? Okay, well, three copies of Blizzard Brawl. So again, it's going to trigger with my Snowlands where plus one, plus zero gains indestructible and then fights another creature. Now, it might be something good with Helena and Elena, giving it a little bit more power, a little bit more juice to it. So, three copies of Blizzard Brawl in. And then three copies, or four copies of End the Festivities. So, it's one drop, and it deals one damage to each opponent, each creature, and Planeswalker they control. So, this is specifically for those human decks. So a lot of what they're making are 1-1s, one but this would also hit a lot of spirit decks too, where they're making the 1-1 one -one spirits. So this would essentially be a, a board wipe for one mana. And I'm a little bit more confident having these in the deck and kind of how I have it set up that it would do a lot better. I mean, people talk about, oh, well, if you're running green, you need to run Ranger class, you need to run a Seekus Chariot. A natural growth could be good. I mean, this would be really good if I could get it out. It's four green pips, so it is kind of expensive. But I mean, trigger it, so I'm doing Reckless Stormseeker. Here, triggering this one to double that, so six. So putting six plus one, plus one counters on something. That could be potentially good, but just too slow. So... Yeah, so this was the deck that I ran. It really was a lot of fun. I haven't really played it on Arena. I've had a lot of issues trying to play Arena lately. And I, I just... I haven't really dug it, so I haven't done anything with it. But anyway, we want to thank you. For, this is the deck. <laughs> so um, go ahead and check out Power Dragon's uh, channel if you haven't already. And again, this Reckless Storm Seeker, Alana and Elena combo is just... It caught so many people off guard. They had no idea what to do with it because I was turning something like my Ascendant Pack le Leader, you know, into a 5-4. A or making this a 6-6, six, six, which means I'm drawing a card automatically or making this a bit stronger and making my other werewolf strong, protecting my Halpack Piper, uh, making Uvenwald Oddity just disgusting. I never got to the point where I could actually transform it. The games never ran on that long. They tended to be over pretty quickly because it was really hasty and and like right up to the the last little bit, I think I lost a total of two games. Except for that last bit where I where I did lose and got knocked out and didn't play for first. But it, it really was quite a bit of fun. So check out Power Dragon. You're going to see a lot of really good deck techs from him. Might give you some ideas on things to do. Like I said, I took this combo from this combo idea from that deck to make Hasty Gruel, to make everything else hasty. And I think the only other really major card that I kept, well, other than Snakeskin Veil, uh, was the Uvenwald Oddity. And honestly, with this Halpack Piper, just to drop, untap, to drop, untap, just being able to do that and then not casting spells and having all my werewolves flip, really good. And of course, Stormseeker, when it's flipped, it's two rather than one. So, and it also gives it trample. So pretty decent value for, for what's happening here. This is my deck. Hopefully you enjoyed this. It's a little bit more competitive and a little bit more um, attempting to win. I don't know how well it would do on the arena meta, to be honest. This was really designed for best of three. For my local meta and what people are running and dealing with. And pretty much caught most people off guard. There are only two people playing werewolves. The other one went a more traditional route with Tolivar and Arlen and all that. Mine was like little werewolves that had haste. <laughs> and it, it did really well and just came out of nowhere for a lot of people. So anyway, we want to thank you for joining us today. 
If you want to know when we're having our next video, go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell notification, and join us in our Discord. And we really appreciate you spending some time with us today, and we hope to see you next time. That's all we have for today, and our meeting is now adjourned. We hope you have a fantastic day.